Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea here. So today I'm just going to do a get ready with me because I just wanted to put some makeup on my face and record it. Um, but I also have a couple of new items. Uh, I would say I have some items that I haven't really shown on uh, YouTube that I've bought within the last month. So yeah, that's pretty much the gist of this video. If you are a new viewer, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I hope that you do enjoy this video. And if you like it enough, I hope that you would subscribe and uh, join our little community over here in YouTube. And if you are a returning sub subscriber, thank you guys so much for continuing to watch my videos and support my channel. Okay, so let's get right into it. So first I'm going to get my mirror. And then I'm going to got a couple of primers that I want to use. So I received this Bobbi Brown Face Base Primer in, um, as a deluxe sample from Sephora. I've heard a lot of really good things about it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry my voice sings kind of froggy. Um, it is 6.30 in the morning. And I usually film later on in the day. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about it. It's It feels really good. It has um, vitamins A, C, D, and E in it. So um, I love vitamin E as well. So yeah, I just wanted to uh, give it a try to see how I might like it. And then, ooh, this Revlon primer, this is the Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. I heard that this is a dupe for the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Um, and I bought it a couple months ago, but have rarely used it. I can't attest to it being a dupe to the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer because I don't have that one. But I did hear it was a dupe from someone who does have the Tatcha Primer. So I figured I'd give it a try. Um, and reduce my pores. This does leave kind of a white cast if you can see it on camera a little bit, um, but my pores are concealed. All right, next, a not new product to me, but this is my third time trying it. It is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. So I tried this foundation, oh, and I'm in the shade Y445. Tried this foundation almost three years ago and my skin was extremely oily. So I took it back because it made my skin even more oily. Then I tried it again about a year and a half later because I was really experiencing some FOMO. Like everybody loves this, but you know, maybe I should try it again. Tried it again and I was, I still didn't like it on my skin. Uh, no, no, the second time I tried it, I thought it broke me out, so I took it back. So, when I recently purchased the Natasha Denota Tan Palette, um, they had a promo of picking three deluxe samples. One of them was the Face Base by Bobbi Brown, the one I just showed you, and then the other one I got was <laughs> this foundation. Um, because I was like, you know, maybe it wasn't the foundation that broke me out, and I'm, honestly, I'm still experiencing some FOMO. I'm like, everybody loves this, and I want to love it too. Alright, so I'm going to let the foundation settle into my skin and then I'm going to, while I'm letting the foundation settle into my skin, I'm going to do my brows and I'll be right back. Okay, so brows are basically done. I'll probably touch up them um, after I apply powder. So now I'm going to go in with my concealer. I have been loving the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer and I am in the shade Tan. Oh, I forgot to tell you all for my brows, I use the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in the shade Soft Brown. So yes, I picked this up during the Sephora VIB sale and I ended up not doing a Sephora VIB haul because I only picked up six products and I felt like that wasn't enough for a video. Um, so yeah, I'm showing it to you here. But I love this concealer. It is so pretty. It's definitely... Um, it definitely matches my skin tone, and I thought about returning it and getting a lighter shade, but I think I'm just going to keep it because I don't really like a stark highlight anyway, and it ends up giving me a nice, like, concealed effect. So now I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I have my... <coughs> I have used this so much that I've just beat it up and tortured it. 
and I'm still using it. <laughs> I'm gonna, I have the shade medium, medium two, and I think it's about time I purchase another one, but I don't want to, I wanna use up all this one. And then for my all over face powder, I'm gonna go in with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. Absolutely love this powder. And <clears throat> I'm gonna use my Flower Beauty brush. Um, I think this is, it doesn't have a name on it, but I think this was their powder brush. And I'm just going to buff that into the skin. Now I'm going to go in with my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray and I'm just going to spray my face. Love this stuff. I need to get some more. I'm about almost done. And now I'm going to go in and um, finish my face off. So I'm going to use both of the Natasha Denona um, palettes here. I'm going to use the Tan Bronze and Glow palette. For my bronzer, I just did a review of this uh, palette, and I'll um, link it in the cards above. And I had some feelings, but uh, I'm gonna definitely give it another try. I'm gonna go in with this bronzer shade right here, using my Sigma F40 brush. And I definitely like this bronzer, this blush bronzer, much more as a bronzer on me versus a blush. I will say that. And the powder does blend very well into the skin. I'm going to also just slightly contour my nose with the same powder. Nothing fancy, just trying to frame my face. Then I'm going to go in with the Bloom palette, and I'm going to go in with this cream blush shade. I love, one of the things I love about this palette is that I can use the cream products on powdered face and non-powdered face, and a non-powdered face. So, um, which I'm glad about because a lot of times I will forget to not powder my face if I want to use a cream product and then I'm like, oh, I can't use it. So I like that I can use these cream products over powder and they don't pick up the powder and disrupt my base. Go in with this shade right here. Make sure I'm pointing to the right one. This shade right here and I'm going to feather it across my cheeks because so I think that would be pretty. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I go in with my AOA Studio F19 brush and I'm going to go in with this Glow Impact for my highlight. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Just forgot. I forgot to use my Lipid Illuminator. My favorite Charlotte Tilbury. It's okay. Then, because I just want to, I'm going to go in with the Glow Extreme shade from the Blue Palette. This is one of my favorite highlighters. Just pop that right there. Then, I'm going to go back in with my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. just to mesh all of that in. And for eyeshadow, I'm so excited. I just purchased my first Charlotte Tilbury cream eyeshadow. So I have mine in the shade Star Gold and I thought this would have been such a pretty color for a one shadow eyeshadow look. So that's what I'm going for today. I'm not going to prime my eyelids. I just want to see. I want to see what this looks like on unprimed eyelids. So I'm going in with the new Wayne Gosh brush. So excited. I purchased my first two high-end makeup brushes recently. So this is the Wayne Gosh 12 brush. Um, I purchased this for the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm palette because I heard it's best to use it with a natural hair brush. And I've, I've heard so much about Wayne Gosh brushes. So I finally bit the bullet and purchased that one. And then this is the Wayne Gosh 26S brush and it's 
a flat shader brush, but it's also a blending brush. Looks like it can do both. So, going right in. Oh yes, oh yes, 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 yes. This is looking exactly how I want it to look. Ooh, so excited. Oh yeah. So it looks like you don't need a lot. I feel like I put maybe too much on, so we're just gonna add a little bit on the other eye. Oh, this is so pretty. Charlotte, once again, you have just outdone yourself. Yes, ma'am. This is what I'm talking about. One eyeshadow that looks so dimensional. Because let's be honest, we don't always have all the time in the world to do our makeup. Especially in the morning. Oh yes ma'am. This is giving me all the feels. You know I'm gonna get more. If you know me, um, you know I just adore Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I recommend every product that I've tried that I have. And she just keeps doing it for me. So I'm just going to drag this down since I do have some excess. Oh, yes, medium. I think I'm going to go in also with the bronzer shade from the... Natasha Denona palette and use the bronzer shade to buff out the lower lash line as well. All right, so my eyes are done. Um, I'm going to apply a little inner corner highlight, but yeah, they're done. I'm going to go in with the tan bronze and glow palette from Natasha Denona and I'm going to use the uh, glow impact shade here for my inner corner highlight. I think these two would be very complimentary. Oh, yes. Just drag that down. So now I'm going to go in with my MAC Eye Coal in Teddy um, to line my lower lash line. I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Lash Primer and the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. Love this duo. Highly recommend you try it if you haven't. Um, it will give you lashes for days. So I'm going to apply my mascara and I will be right back. So I'm going to go in, I've applied my mascara, I applied some black liner on my top lash, um, on my tight line, not my top lash, my tight line. I'm going to go back in with the Natasha Denota Bronze Palette and I'm going to take that bronzer color with a Morphe M441 brush and I'm just going to run this through my crease area just to blend out that shadow a little bit more. I was looking at it while I was putting on my mascara and I was like, I think I need to blend that in a bit more. And then I'm going to take that Glow Impact Powder from the same Natasha Denona Tan Palette and just apply a little bit right here on the brown bone. Then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer in Deep Brown. This is a brow gel with little fibers in it that I think is just amazing. So I'm just going to finish off my brows with this. Alright, so for lips, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Your Thriving Lipstick. And then lastly, to finish off my lips, I'm going to go in with the Milani Keep It Full plumping lip gloss in tropical shine if you've not tried these lip glosses you have to they're so pretty they remind me of the fenty uh lip glosses i think that's why i like them so much because i adore that lip gloss and then lastly i'm going to spray my face with the Fersarly rose gold skin mist love this And we are done. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope that you liked this little tutorial. Um, nothing special. Just wanted to play around with some products that were kind of new to me or products that I haven't used in a while. Um, this Wayne Goss brush, I really liked. It really applied my uh, liquid or cream eyeshadow very well. And um, 
it worked well to blend in the product. I think I would probably use it more so as a shader brush, but I really do like it. Um, I do want to get more Wayne Goss brushes, so let me know your recommendations for Wayne Goss brushes down in the comment section below. I'm so new to like high-end and luxury makeup brushes. Um, so let me know what your recommendations are, what your favorite ones are. And um, I think she'll stick around. Um, this tan bronze and glow palette, the more I use it, this is just my second time using it, but I do like this so much better than when I applied it the first time that I used it. So I think, I think I like her. I think I like her. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you will subscribe and stick around for my very next video. And I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.